is a well-known landmark of Mannheim, Germany. The water tower was built from 1886 to 1889 on the present Frederick Square by Gustav Helm Huber. The tower, which is 60 meters high and 19 meters in diameter, was Mannheim's first urban water tower. It initially had to meet with the required standards as a drinking water supply while maintaining steady water pressure. After the construction of the higher Lusenberg water tower in 1909, the Mannheim water tower served as an above-ground water tank until 2000. Since Mannheim lies on the Rhine Valley, the groundwater is not very deep under the Earth's surface and is therefore often of poor quality. Consequently, during the reign of Elector Charles Louis, the merchant Helfrich Gall suggested channeling mountain water from Rohrbach to Mannheim. Until the 19th century, the electoral court's water requirements were met by the upper and lower prince fountains at the Heidelberg Castle. In 1798, Johann Andreas of Tritter, the electoral palatinate architect, wrote about these water transports. Because of the lack of healthy, acceptable well water, as long as the court was in Mannheim, such necessary water was brought in daily from the mountains. As is well known, the court chamber had to keep a special water truck which drove to Heidelberg every day to collect water from the Prince Fountain and the castle courtyard. In 1739, the minister of Hildsheim had eight fountains built on Parade Square. The architect Bibina of Rohrbach was supposed to solve the problem of water shortage. However, he could no longer carry out this work. For more than 60 years, these fountains were without water and the citizens of Mannheim were faced with constant ridicule. In 1758, the scientifically trained Jesuit Christian Mayer was sent to France to inspect all the water lines there. After his return, Father Mayer wrote a lot about hydraulics, but not a single water pipe was built. In 1770, Mansberger, the Cooper Master of Mannheim, suggested that water from Rohrbach be channeled to Mannheim via Wynuskin. His suggestion was considered insane and was rejected by a commission of the city council because it could not be completed with 200,000 guilders. In 1771, Master Singer wanted to use a barrel machine to scoop the water from the Rhine River into the fortress ditches. The guilds, consisting of boatmen, protested against this plan. In the meantime, four new fountains had been constructed on the market square. However, the water necessary was still missing. Experts from Bavaria were assigned to Mannheim and the electoral palatinate chief engineer, Steimach, was sought for advice. He calculated that it would cost 210,000 guilders in order to channel the flowing water from the Rhine through the fortress ditches. However, it would cost the same value to construct a water pipeline directly from Rohrbach to Mannheim. This and further plans were therefore denied by Minister Graf of a Berndorf. Since 1790, over 24,000 residents of Mannheim mainly obtained their drinking water from pumping wells. In the hot summer months when most of the water was withdrawn, the water smelled of foul broth. The suspended solids in the water did not have to settle because of rapid withdrawal. 
Likewise, the fortress ditches spread a terrible stench due to the evaporation of the water after exposure and dehydration. A closed sewer system did not yet exist. There was a lack of rancing water due to a drought, and waste, feces, etc. were left to rot on the street. During this time, this was the main cause of many illnesses, including typhus, which caused many Mannheim residents to die during the summer. Benjamin Thompson, an American physicist from Massachusetts, prompted the electoral palatinate major and administrative counselor, Johann Andreas of Tritter, to address the issue regarding the water supply. The turning point of the endless discussion was finally reached with the intervention of Tritter. He examined the watercourses above Rohrbach and the waterways on the other side of the Nikar River. On June 20, 1790, Tritter finally submitted his memorandum. He stated in this memorandum that within two years, he will channel water from the mountains near Rohrbach to Mannheim for drinking and domestic use in sufficient quantities in order to provide for 12 fountains, various public pipe fountains, the Mannheim Palace, and many private buildings. Furthermore, Tritter obliged to build the water line, in advance, at his own expense. Since Tritter had claimed privileges, a commission met to deal with these provisions and imposed conditions on him, which forced Tritter to change his plans. In the second contract signed on March 1, 1791, the engineer pledged to complete the water line by the end of 1792, because there was a celebration for the golden anniversary of Charles Theodore's reign. In the end, Tritter was forced to stop the work due to the lack of money. The outstanding donation, agreed advance or payment on account, of 30. 000 Gilders was not paid and could not manage to comply to the terms of a third contract, although he had hired new workers to construct a stone quarry and two brick factories. The siege of Mannheim in 1795, however, put an end to all efforts. The French used the wooden pegs as firewood and the Austrians blocked out the duct for military reasons. In 1979, the court chamber stated that it was impossible to continue working on the water line. On March 22, 1798, a settlement was therefore reached between Tritter and the chamber, whereby all previous contracts were cancelled and compensation was set for Tritter and government bonds. However, these were not paid to him even after long trials. The population of Mannheim grew rapidly towards the end of the 19th century, and as a consequence, the supply from the Kaferdil waterworks was soon no longer sufficient. The city therefore needed its own water tower. The selected location was ideal, since only short lines were necessary for households in the center of the city to reach Schwetzingerstadt, Lindenhof, and the emerging Ostadt. On July 1, 1886, the groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of waterworks took place. 1.975 million marks was approved as a loan for the project. However, the costs rose to 2,374,288 marks in the course of the three-year construction phase. Mannheim Water Tower, 1889 on March 14, 1889, the tower was so far completed that the scaffolding could soon be removed. Once again, the city of Mannheim invited architects to take a tour. It is not known, however, whether Helm Huber returned to Mannheim. Today it is one of the important monuments in Mannheim, Germany. 
In the year 2022, this video has been shooted by Travel Entertainment and Talent Hunt channels for YouTube. Thanks for watching.